top. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Mr. Rashid here back with another instructional video. Give you another one and another one and another one. So today we are talking about division. Okay, today we're gonna learn how to divide using the equal groups method. Now the equal groups method is one of uh, definitely a fan favorite by most third and second graders. The reason why, because it's just probably the easiest. All right, let's get into this today. All right, so before we get into this, let's talk about some things here, okay? First of all, you're probably saying, but Mr. Garcia, what does the division even mean, okay? whoop de doo what does it all mean, Basil? So, division just means to put um, things, a group of things, into equal parts, okay? Again, division means to put a group of things into equal parts. For example, I'll show you. Here is a group of crayons. Now, they're all over the place, right? A group of crayons. Now, I could make these into equal parts, and I could split them. Let's make them into equal parts so we can find out how many we have. Boom. All right. Now, I took my group of crayons and I divided them equally and now they all have they're all in groups of threes before I had one giant clump and then now I have a group of groups of threes so that's just division we divided things equally uh, we divided a group of stuff into equal parts all right now that we explained what division is let's talk about some key vocabulary words that you might hear in division the first vocabulary word you, you might heard is dividend. Go ahead and everybody say dividend. Now, dividends, no, I'm not talking about the dividends in the stock market. I'm talking about dividends right here. This is the dividend here. Usually the bigger number is usually the dividend. Okay, the number at the front of the equation or the number or the bigger number is usually the dividend. Okay. The next word we have oh. is divisor. And no, I'm not talking about the visors that you wear. I'm talking about a divisor right here and it's usually the number um, that's in the middle of the equation okay and lastly but not least we have the fancy way to say the answer okay in division instead of saying my answer is you can sound really smart and tell your teacher um, the quotient is okay so in division the word quotient just means the answer or yeah just the answer okay so you can say the quotient is but you can only say that when you're using when you're dividing okay so if you want to sound super smart super smart you can just say um mr garcia the the quotient of the problem is and then you can just put your answer okay so now that we got those vocabulary words out of the way let's go ahead and dig in how to divide using equal groups all right now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to look at your problem your your number sentence here and it's telling us 24 divided by 8. so it's 24 we want it wants to we have a group of 24 and we need to put it into eight equal groups okay so maybe we have have 24 bucks 24 dollars and we gotta we gotta split this money between eight kids so we would have to uh, make sure that everybody gets the same amount if we're gonna split the money up. So this is what you're gonna do. So we know that we have to split up 24 into eight equal groups. So the first thing you'll do is you'll draw eight circles to represent our eight equal groups. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all right, there are my eight equal groups, or my eight groups, sorry, they're not equal just yet. They're eight groups, okay? So now we know that we need to split up the 24 books into each one. So in order to represent that, let's go ahead and just draw. Let's put a dot in each box until we get the number 24. So as you can see, you can just go one, two, three four five six seven eight 
Okay, there's eight. Let's do another one. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, baby, yeah, there it is right there. All right, so now we know that we split up 24 bucks. If we have $24 and we can give it between eight kids, each kid is going to get how much? Well, let's count inside, one, two, three. So each child will receive three bucks. And now we know what our quotient is. So 24 divided by eight, equals three. Now, fun fact, disclaimer here, if you were a boss dipped in sauce and you know your multiplication facts, then the division is actually very easy for you, okay? Division is just the inverse relationship of multiplication. What? And you're probably saying, what did you say, Mr. Garcia, what? No, if you take a look right here, if you see, you can kind of see the, the, the multiplication problem. Eight times three, if you're very good at your multiplication facts, you know eight times three is 24. So if you are um, really just smart and you know your multiplication facts, then you probably don't need to do the equal groups. You could just know right away, boom, that's three. But if you don't know, the equal groups here is here to save you, it's here to help you, it's your friend, help you, but if you know your multiplication facts, you can just do it real quick, like quick maths. All right. And that's it for today. We'll see you next time. Peace.